Well, after last week's loss to Tulane, how good does this victory feel and the way you did it? It's good to uh, just, you know, obviously get, get the win, no matter, you know, no matter how it's done. Um, I thought it was a great team win. Our defense, uh, I think, scored three touchdowns, and then we had uh, another on special teams, which is big. And offensively, I felt like it was, you know, we started to get things rolling, which is, which is very encouraging. Um, you know, I think I've been talking for a while now about taking some stuff from the practice field to the game field, and I think we saw some of that tonight, which is very encouraging. You know, it seemed like the team really came out hot and on fire. Was there something in y'all's mind where y'all wanted to prove to everyone that Tulane game wasn't what this team really is? Well, we knew we had to be ready to play. You know, Houston's a, Houston's a very good team, um, uh, you know, offensively and defensively. And, and so we, we knew we had to be ready to play. And, you know, I, I don't know if there was a bad taste in our mouth. Obviously, you have a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth after a game like that. But, you know, I, I don't know if it was, you know, maybe we took a chip, we, maybe we took a chip on our shoulder uh, into the game and, and – you know, it's just it's it's very good to to um, get rolling like that and, and start fast. Coming into today, your offense had six first quarter points for the first six games. You get a couple touchdowns in the first quarter today. What was the key to starting faster? I wish I could tell you. Um, no, it's it's um it's all about just going out and executing what we know we can do. Um, you know, I th I thought at, at times in, in earlier games we kind of went into games trying to feel our, feel the defense out and, and feel the, feel the game out. Tonight we just went out and attacked. Um, our defense created a turnover earlier on the on the punt return, um, and uh, and we were able to get seven on the board quick there, and then we put a drive together on the next one. You know, we knew we were going to be in a dog in for a dog fight um, with how good their offense is and how quick they can score. Um, and so, um, you know, offensively it was just about keeping keeping our foot on the pedal all night. And and I think you know to answer your question, I think the difference is we just came out and attacked tonight rather than kind of feeling the game out. Was there ever a point before that eight-minute drive in the fourth quarter where you thought you had enough points to win this? Or did you think you are going to have to keep scoring all night? Well, I've always got faith in our defense. Um, but, you know, offensively, every time we're on the field, our goal is to score. So every time we went out there, we, we didn't go out there to run the clock or, you know, that's kind of a byproduct whenever you're able to run the ball like we did um, in the fourth quarter, which is a testament to our offensive line and Zach and, and our receivers being able to get blocking on the edge. But, you know, we go out there every single time with, with, a, with a goal to score. Did you feel like this was your best game of the year personally? I can't, you know, I can't speak to that. I think, you know, I think our team did a very good job tonight. I think it, I think it was our best team win of the year, um, without a doubt. We, we, we played well in all facets of the game. They're going to they're going to get their points. You know, that's just that's just kind of who they are. They they score points. They have they have a very high powered offense. Um, but I thought our defense was able to for the most part contain contain what they did other than, you know, a couple couple plays down the sideline uh, here and there, but you know, I, I thought it was a very good team win for us. You seem to grow more confident though as the game grew on. You should have take chances downfield. Um, is that about right or Well, you know, I, I think you know, getting getting um, Getting into a kind of comfort zone with what they were doing on defense, what we were doing on offense, the way our offensive line was able to pick up their pressures all night. Um, you know that, that kind of frustrates the defense, and then you're able to make some plays with less guys in coverage. Um, so you know there's a little bit of that, and in, in, in that you know being able to take advantage of some of those things. Darius and Jeremy, the 18 total receptions for the night. I mean that was pretty much your your go-to guys tonight. Yeah. No kidding. Um, just noticed that. Uh, they did. Uh, they they did it. They did a heck of a job, both of them. Um, you know, they're like I said, they were they were bringing some pressure, which kind of left which kind of left our slots one on one with safeties, which is you know obviously that's something that you want that's something that you'd like to have. And, and um, you, know, you got two two receivers like like Darius and Jeremy. Uh, you know, they're able to make some plays for us, which is which is huge. There have been games earlier this year where we've asked you about drop passes and asked Coach Jones about drop passes. Tonight, it seemed like they made a lot of the catches that maybe they didn't earlier in the year. Was there anything you saw in practice that led you to believe this was the week that that would change? I, you know, I, I've had faith in our guys all year long, <clears throat> no matter what. And, you know, obviously, I think you know some some of those that you're talking about in the in the TCU game with the rain. That stuff's going to happen. You know, and, and and drop passes are just part of the game. You know, I think as a receiving core and, and myself, you know, stuff like that it can also be attributed to timing. And I think as e as each practice, each week, our timing gets better and better, and we. You know, we start to click a little bit better, and I think you saw some of that tonight. As far as the conference race is concerned, was this a must-win for you guys tonight? Without a doubt. Uh, you know, we we've got to we've got we've got to go in each week uh, with that with that attitude and that mindset, and it's got to be one at a time, and we've got to come into each game um, with the mentality and the um, 
I guess, the attitude that we did tonight and that we got to attack their defense. Garrett, I know you said earlier in the year that you know you kind of had to be patient with the offense coming in and everything. Um, it, it, do you think tonight is a sign of things to come? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I think again. You know, I still think uh, offensively with with us and, and the playmakers we have, the the running back we have in Zach, and as our offensive line continues to gel and get better and better um, each week, um, you know, the sky's the limit for us. Um, you know, tonight tonight. Uh, you know, things just went our way of defense. Let's see, created what five or six turnovers? Nine, nine, nine. 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 Okay, nine turnovers. <laughs> wow. Um, so, you know, when, when you do things like when you when you're able to do things like that, it leaves you with a short field, and um, you know, you're, we're able to make some plays. You guys have been playing football a long time. What does it mean to be a part of the team that set the record for the most points in a game? I had no idea what it was. Um, you know, what the record was, and that that's pretty special um, to be able to be able to to be able to score that many points and. You know, again tonight, it's it's a testament to to the offense, the defense, and the special teams. We played a complete game. After last week, how big it was tonight from a confidence standpoint, especially given how well Houston was playing coming in? Uh, it's it's very big. Um, you know, it's something that we can we can take going forward and use some moment, use it, and, you know, build on it, and use it as momentum and, and continue to improve. On your touchdown pass to Keenan Holman, it was your longest pass since you've been at SMU, and it also looked I don't know if it was a busted play, but you were rolling out to get away from pressure. How important was it not only to make a play like that, but also to hit that long vertical ball uh, just for your confidence and the confidence of the offense? Well, after I missed Derek so wide open in the first quarter, you know, I, had to, I had to get one back. Um, no, uh, they, they, uh, they, they did a good job in the second half, Houston did, of, of bringing some pressure off the edge. And, um, and so, you know, uh, they brought one more than we could handle. And, and the, um, I guess the read wasn't quite developed, so, you know, rolled out to the right. And, um, they've been kind of sitting on our corner routes all night, and Keenan just ran right by his corner and uh, made a good play to finish it and get in the end zone. This Coming into the day, were you worried about any kind of hangover from New Orleans? No. I, I thought we had, a, we had a good week of practice. Um, we were very sharp, um, even, on, even on Sunday, coming back the day after the game, which is, you know, it's tough. It, it is tough to come, out, to come back after that, but we were, we were sharp and um, mentally, and obviously with a short week, you know, it, it is tough to, to get over stuff like that, but you've got to put it out of your mind, and so I think that shows a, shows a, uh, that's a sign of maturity for our team. So now you've got nine days until your next game. Is that going to be too long? <laughs> no. We'll, uh, you know, obviously you get, you get 24 hours to enjoy it, and then it's time to start working on the next one. This team goes on to uh, the Big East with you guys next year. Did you hear some chirping out there? Is this a, a, a natural rivalry between Dallas and Houston? And I think when you play games within within the state of Texas, you kind of you, you, you know, guys have been playing against each other or with each other since since grade school, and you see you know you get out there and, and uh, so it just happens. Everyone everyone on the team knows each other. They're gonna, there's going to be a little bit of talking and, and uh, extracurricular activities going on. Here, do you uh, do you remember the last time you had four touchdown passes in the game? Nope. <laughs> do y'all? Do you? Long, long, do you ring a bell? Say time to Yeah, it had to be then. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for you, I mean, do you feel like you could personally like take a deep breath now and like, kind of relax because this is a game everyone's been expecting. You finally did. Do you feel a little bit more relaxed? I've got, like I said, twenty four hours to celebrate, and it's time to get moving again. Anything else, guys? Thank you. All right, thank y'all.